Hi Aquarius, these are your general monthly messages. My name is Hannah, welcome to my channel. And it's such an honor to be a part of your wondrous experience today. So we're gonna start off with some messages that I've received from Spirit without the use of any divination tools. And then after that, we'll get into the tarot and see what the cards can kind of clarify and even add on to these messages that I've already picked up. So your first message says, heart chakra activation. You might be drawn to the color green during this time, but either way, love is in the air. Um, some of you might be starting new relationships or taking your relationships to a deeper level, reconnecting with family, making new friends, getting a pet. I saw the energy specifically around getting a pet, like an emotional support animal. So some of you might be getting a very large dog um, or a cat. And I do see this animal being kind of like an emotional support pet and maybe even um, the cause of this heart chakra activation. Like some of you may be activating your heart chakra after getting a pet, you know, you find yourself being more loving or being um, more drawn to people who show you love. Because I'm seeing where for some of you, like you might get a pet and it's like after that, you start to notice that people are nicer to you or you start to notice that like maybe you're getting more compliments. It's just because you're kind of radiating these vibes um, that say, come here and love on me. <laughs> and people are doing just that. So some of you are going to be receiving some extra TLC this month, and I do feel like this might make you a little bit uncomfortable because Aquarian energy is typically very detached when it comes to emotional expression. So you're being advised to let yourself be loved this month um, because some of you really need it. I'm really picking up that some of you have been going through some emotional turmoil, and I think you need to let yourself be loved. There's people around you who really support you, and they want to show your or they want to show their support to you. So your next message says, reading and writing. I'm seeing where some of you may stumble upon a really addictive novel, um, or you may have an idea to write a book um, or a screenplay or poetry. And I feel like this novel specifically pertains to like sci-fi or romance, or maybe a bit of both. <laughs> it might be like a sci-fi romance novel. Um, but for those of you who have had the idea to write a book, get on that shit now because i really do think some of you have a great idea and you've been doubting yourself but little do you know you have the next new york times bestseller sitting right inside your head so like i said get on that shit now because i'm serious some of you have a really really good idea for like a screenplay or maybe poetry um, or just like a book um, this message can also pertain to journaling as well. I do see a strong emphasis around journaling, especially for those of you who have maybe tried other forms of therapeutic activity. Um, maybe you've even tried going to therapy and speaking with a therapist, but you find that like therapy isn't really your thing. And I'm seeing somebody who doesn't resonate with therapy because the act of like talking about your emotions is really hard for you. Um, you might be a better writer than you are a speaker. But I'm also seeing this applying to someone who doesn't really wanna share what they've been going through with somebody else because even though therapists are supposed to have like that, that non-bias, right? Like they're not really biased, they're kind of like an, an outsider looking into your life. There is a natural judgment that all humans have, right? So I think some of you are kind of worried about maybe the judgments that this person's gonna make to you, like your, your therapist or whatever. Um, so it might be, more effective to keep a journal because then it's just you in the book you know what i mean there's nobody there to judge you however i do feel like if you have a journal you might want to keep it somewhere tucked away because i did pick up that some of you might have some nosy nancies around that might try to sneak a peek at what you've been writing um so you know if you've been keeping a journal like keep that shit on the lock like you may literally want to get one of those journals that has like a lock or something like that or lock it away where somebody can't access it because I specifically saw a scenario where someone's mom or someone's girlfriend or boyfriend might like try to look through their journals or something like that. So be mindful guys. You know, this could also pertain to someone who's writing that book that I was talking about or writing a screenplay and you know, someone might be saying, hey, let me take a look at that. Let me read your book or let me read your screenplay. And you're like, no, not until it's done, you know? And they're like, please. <laughs> and you're like, no. So I do feel like there's just this vibe of nosiness. Like somebody kind of wants to look into what you're writing or kind of want to look into what you know what's been going on and if you want that air of privacy you know it it's being highlighted that there's somebody here that kind of wants to stick their nose in your business so your last message says handle with care because there's an emphasis on hands this month um maybe someone struggles with carpal tunnel 
or arthritis or even just some dry ass knuckles. I don't know, we're changing the weather during this time, like we're going through a weather change right now as I'm filming this. Of course, this is a timeless reading, so this will apply very differently for each of you. But as I'm filming this, there is a weather change that's happening. It's getting colder. So you're being asked to pay extra attention to your hands this month. Like there's an energy surrounding your hands. Um, maybe some of you want to do some stretches or moisturize or maybe even just like massage them. Especially for those of you who work in a field that requires like minor movements of your hands. Like you might be really into like knitting or like craftsmanship um, or typing. And I'm seeing where... You know, even for those of you that are chefs and you're, you're into like cooking and stuff like that, like be careful when using knives this month um, or when you're taking out hot dishes out of the oven. Because I do see there's a possibility that some of you might like cut yourself or you might like burn yourself. I always like to visualize gauntlets on my hands. I know that's crazy as fuck and like extra as hell, but I always visualize gauntlets on my hands whenever I'm cutting like onions and stuff like that as a way to like protect my hands. Um, so you know, you may want to try visualizing gauntlets on your hands while you're cutting up your onions and, you know, your other produce. I'm also seeing some of you may want to get a manicure, you know, even if you don't paint your nails, like some of you just need a little bit of TLC on your hands, um, like massaging or moisturizing or something like that, because there's just this strong emphasis on the hands that's really wanting to come up. Um, and, you know, some of you might be watching this and you're like, I'm not that kind of girl. Like, I would never get a manicure. I don't need a manicure. And nobody said you needed a manicure, sis. Like, because I'm, I'm hearing somebody say that. So I feel like there's somebody out there who's thinking this. But nobody's saying you need a manicure. But I'm saying you may find that you really like them, especially for those of you who are kind of like, oh, I'm not that kind of girl. Like, I'm just seeing somebody who's like not like the other girls. There's a girl out there who's not like the other girls and is like, oh, I don't do the whole manicure thing. Like, it's just like, I'm not like the other girls. I don't need to get my nails done. I don't need to do X, Y, and Z, right? But it's not that you need to do these things. Like you might just wanna try it because like maybe you'll like it and you might end up getting regular manicures. Like I'm seeing somebody who was very opposed to manicures or like very opposed to going and getting their nails done and they might do it this month and then they become a regular customer of this salon or whatever. This can also apply to like maybe, you know, you've been trying to get your husband to go get a pedicure or a manicure with you um, because there's plenty of men out there who get manicures. Like I, my ex-boyfriend used to go get pedicures with me um, and I see plenty of men, plenty of straight men that go and get pedicures. It's, there's nothing wrong with taking care of your body. Okay, boys? So like, listen up. <laughs> I, I don't really like when men are like, that's a girl thing, you know what I mean? It's like, nah, like there's plenty of guys who are very manly <laughs> that get pedicures and it's okay to want to take care of yourself and it's okay to want to look good and to invest into your beauty and to invest into your looks. Like there's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't make you a priss. It doesn't make you, you know, there, there's kind of like, I feel like a negative stigma around wanting to take care of yourself, especially when it comes to men. So I do feel like, you know, some of you may be convincing your husband to go get a manicure with you. You never know. But there is this vibe of like the hands and needing to take care of the hands. So I picked that up very specifically in your energy. But that's it for the channeled messages. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot and see what they can clarify and add on. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull some tarot messages for you guys. We're gonna start off with three crowning energies and then we'll go ahead and go from there. Okay, so you have the Queen of Swords, the Five of Coins, and Temperance. So I'm seeing a situation where somebody's money situation has possibly slowly been rebuilding. Um, like some of you may have taken a pretty big financial hit within the past like five to 10 months is what I'm picking up. And I'm seeing where this financial hit has kind of slowly been, um, I guess, mending itself over time. And it's required a lot of patience. Like somebody's husband or wife may have like lost their job. Like you may be dealing with a situation where your partner may have like lost a job and you were kind of carrying all the financial weight on your back and maybe this was like creating problems within your relationship. But 
But either way, I'm seeing a situation where you were having to take on the burdens for somebody else. It's kind of like somebody else's lack of effort was falling on your back. Because notice how the temperance card, like, she has a bunch of arms, right? Like, this could be somebody working overtime to make up for somebody else's lack of work. And this could be in the workplace, too. You know, maybe you have some coworkers who haven't really been doing their fair share, and you've been kind of having to make up for the work that they're not putting in. It's like you're having to do everybody else's job for them. Uh, for others of you, this could be working multiple jobs because maybe your partner can't work right now. Maybe you're working and um, maybe you have like your mother who's living with you, your father who might be living with you. Like somebody has like a, a parent who is possibly ill and maybe like living with them. And I feel like you might be working extra to support not just yourself, but your parent or like your partner or something like that. So you have the King of Cups, Three of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. So like I said, I do feel like this financial hit is slowly resolving itself. It's like, you know, alleviating itself. Like maybe you're coming to a place where you don't have to work as much OT or, you know, maybe your partner is finally getting a job or it's, it's this energy of just like not having to put as much work in, things are kind of just slowly smoothing themselves out. And it's, it's this energy of like, finally, with the Three of Wands and the Ten of Wands, like finally, I've been waiting for this. Um, if you've been dealing with a situation where maybe you've been the only one working, like I do feel like whoever's not working in this situation is gonna be getting a job. Or there's like a, a new stream of income that's possibly coming forth through a person. So this might be somebody who is disabled, right? Because you have a five of coins. Um, this could be somebody receiving a disability check. Especially if there's been like a back injury, there's possibly going to be like workman's comp or something like that, that, that comes in. And maybe you've been waiting on this. You know what I mean? Maybe your partner can't work because they're disabled and you've been waiting on that disability check or you've been waiting on um, the workman's compensation to come forth and kind of um, release some of the pressure financially. This can also apply in a sense where you may feel like you're putting in all the effort in your romantic relationships as well. Um, like some of you may be dealing with a, a Scorpio, maybe a Sag, maybe another Aquarius. Um, and I feel like there's this vibe of like somebody who's putting in more effort than the other person. It's like somebody might be kind of like carrying this whole relationship on their shoulders. Um, where the, whereas the other person might be kind of like dipping their toes in maybe to other situations. Like this person might be exploring their options or something like that. But I do see that changing with the Wheel of Fortune here. Let's clear off these cards. Let's keep the Wheel of Fortune here because I kind of want to see what this card is about. What is this change that's coming forth for Aquarius? Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? So you have the King of Wands and the Four of Cups. The King of Coins. So like I said, I do feel like there is this change in terms of your financial situation. I also feel like somebody who's been real sluggish is gonna start taking action towards something. So this could be somebody who you've been telling them like, get a job, get a job, like when are you gonna find work? When are you gonna get a job? Um, this is that same person finally getting their ass up and getting a job. Um, for others of you, this could apply in the sense that somebody might be coming forth and putting action towards a relationship with you, towards having something stable with you. Um, and it, it's coming from this place of like, you know, I've taken some time to really think about us. Like you may have um, a relationship where some of you were ready to give up on this situation. 
Like you were ready to completely let the situation go. I don't know if you did though, because you do have that 10 of, um, 10 of wands. So this means that some of you were still carrying the burden, but you were kind of waiting and seeing maybe how a situation played out before you made any decisions. It's kind of this vibe of like, I'll give you another chance, but you know, three, three strikes and you're out. Right, so some of you were giving somebody another chance, and I feel like this person is saying, like, listen, like, I have thought long and hard about this situation, and I really want to put forth effort. I really want to make, um, I really want to make things better. Do you want to stay together? If you do, then let's please make some new memories. That's the vibe that I'm seeing with this situation. It's like somebody who says like, you know, I'm ready to put forth effort. Somebody may be singing. I don't know. I picked up the energy of serenading in someone's reading. I can't remember who it was. Maybe it was Scorpio. Some of you may have someone who's going to be serenading you. But it's somebody who hasn't fully broke up yet. Like there hasn't been a separation here because you have the King of Coins um, and then you also have that 10 of Wands. So this is a situation that you're still holding on to, but you may have thought about it. You may have thought about disconnecting from this situation, but I feel like some of you have really been holding on and it's kind of like, this is the last fucking straw. Like that's what I'm seeing. Like I'm seeing somebody grating their teeth and be like, this is the last fucking straw. <laughs> like, you know, you fucked up all of these times, this is it. You know, like my kindness only extends so far. Yeah, I feel like there's this energy of wanting to invest effort into something. Somebody's effort's gonna be changing, guys. If you've been dealing with somebody who hasn't been, in, been putting forth effort, um, I really do feel like this is gonna change. Especially if this is in a financial sense. I feel like somebody's gonna finally have maybe like a financial contribution. Like I said, whether that's like a government check, um, a disability check, or them actually getting up and getting a job. I feel like there's this vibe of like somebody contributing maybe a little more than they have been. And it's kind of like somebody saying like, look, I've thought about it and I've been really toxic, you know, or I've thought about it and you're really toxic. You know, this might be you, especially if you're an Aquarius with Capricorn or maybe water in your chart, you might be telling somebody like, hey, you know, I've taken a lot of time to think about us and I think this relationship is really toxic or I think you're displaying some toxic traits. And it's kind of like with the Four of Cups, the King of Coins, and the Devil, I feel like this is somebody's laziness, like getting in the way of a relationship or somebody's laziness getting in the way of a situation. Actually, let me pull one more from this deck. Okay. Yeah, Knight of Swords. This is somebody saying this is the last fucking straw. But I don't know. I really do feel like there's somebody here who's long, like something's long overdue. There's just this vibe of something being long overdue. And somebody might be telling you this. They might be saying, hey, look, like, you know, you've, you've deserved this for a while, like you've deserved this apology or you've deserved this effort or something like that. There's an energy of like somebody saying you deserve something. You have deserved something, but you haven't been getting it. And I feel like whoever this is, is gonna be coming forth and maybe showing what they feel you deserve. It's like, I want to take time to, you know, really nurture this connection or nurture this job. 
this could also be a boss saying, you know, I feel like you really deserve a raise. Like you've been doing everybody's job for them. You deserve a promotion. It's like finally getting what you feel you deserve. It's like some of you have really been over investing yourself in a situation. And I do think that you're finally going to be receiving um, some kind of compensation for what you've been putting out. Because it's this energy of like somebody who feels like they've been slaving away. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So I feel like there's this vibe of obviously manifestation. I think some of you may be trying to manifest a certain opportunity. Some of you may have noticed that, you know, around the time that you experience this particular hardship, in relation to money or this particular like financial hit because I really do feel the energy of a financial hit it may have been like around the time that you were maybe associating with like a certain group of people or a certain person let's see let's clarify this energy I'm just seeing something going haywire it's kind of just like, like, I don't know, things just kind of get really chaotic. Some of you may be disconnecting from a mother because this mother is very toxic. This mother may be the source of your financial problems. And this might be what I was talking about. Like, maybe around the time that this mother moved in or around the time that this mother has been in your life, it's like you were experiencing financial hardship. Um, this can also be somebody's baby mama, like, coming through. Maybe you are contacting, like, the father of your children for, like, child support because maybe, I don't know, I'm just getting, like, a deadbeat type of energy. And deadbeats can be moms or dads. It doesn't have to just be dads. But there is this energy of like somebody contacting somebody like for child support or maybe somebody's been missing child support payments or something like that. But I, I see the vibe of a mother specifically. And it's this energy of like around the time that maybe this mother moved in or around the time that this mother had some sort of influence on your life. It's like that's when things really started to just like shift and like kind of go haywire. Specifically within your finances, I feel. And I feel like some of you are going to be moving away from this mother. Some of you are trying to manifest an opportunity where you can move away from a mother. Yeah, you got the star card. I really do feel like there's like a wish or a desire. Because some of you are like stuck in some kind of contract or like maybe you're stuck in a lease with someone. It's this vibe of like wanting to escape something or wanting to manifest a scenario where you can escape something. I'm hearing the vibe of escape. With the six of swords and the devil, this is an escape. So this could be somebody's toxic home situation, like toxic family situation, toxic roommate situation. Like there's just this energy of something being really toxic maybe at home. I don't know if this is in the workplace. I mean, it could be, it could be, um, but I'm not really getting so much of that if I'm being honest with you. Like I said, it could be, but I feel like this is more in relation to somebody's home situation or somebody's romantic situation. Like there's a really toxic relationship or a really toxic living situation. Um, like somebody's stuck in a lease. Somebody's stuck in a lease or um, someone's stuck like in a mortgage or something like that. Like maybe you've divorced your partner, your person, and you know, you're trying to move on. You're trying to get out of this relationship, but it's like you're stuck in a lease together or you're stuck in a mortgage together. You know, maybe you guys made a really big purchase together. It doesn't even have to be a house. 
maybe they co-signed on your car or something like that. You know what I mean? It's this energy of just like, there's something that's binding the two of you together and it feels legal or it feels like um, financial. But I do feel like there's going to be a situation that manifests where you're able to move away from this particular person or this particular situation that you feel is very toxic. Because I really, really get the vibe of like a toxic mother. It might be like your mother-in-law or something like that. Like somebody might have like a really toxic mother-in-law. The mother-in-law may have been the influence as to why this relationship broke up. Like if there was a marriage and you know now there's a divorce, it could have been because of a mother-in-law is what I'm picking up. But I see this energy of like wanting to get out of something that you feel is very toxic. And I think some of you are really trying to manifest a situation where you can get out of this. Continue to visualize guys because you really never know like how the universe can come through. It's limitless. You are limitless. I think some of you need to remember that. Look at this. Joy is the ultimate creator. Some of you need to like stop focusing on the negative and stop focusing about what you hate about this situation and start focusing on what you want to manifest. Because you're so caught up. And I know it's easier said than done, right? But that's where discipline comes in. Um, because I feel like some of you guys are really like heavily, heavily focused on a situation that is, it's changing, but it's obviously, you know, change is gradual. Or this particular change is gradual. And I feel like some of you guys are so caught up in what you hate about a situation, or you're so caught up in what you dislike about a situation, that you're not investing that energy into manifesting a better scenario for yourself. And it's like, if you took all that energy of complaining and, and dread and channeled it into visualizing the reality that you want to manifest, you would likely materialize a scenario that you want to manifest. An escape from this situation, because I'm just seeing the vibe of an escape. Like some of you guys are going to be getting the fuck out of a situation that is not benefiting you. And it's like freedom. Like that's what I'm hearing. Like somebody is finally tasting freedom for the first time in their entire life is what I'm picking up. Like somebody here might be moving away from a really overbearing like mother. I don't know. This could be like, this could be a religious type of thing too. Like somebody might be in like a cult or something like that and maybe escaping a cult. But there's just this vibe of like freedom, like tasting freedom at last. Like it's something that maybe some of you, like I said, have never experienced before. Maybe you're getting out of a really, um, what's it called? Possessive relationship. You know, maybe you had a really abusive partner that was very possessive over you and, and didn't let you leave the house or didn't let you have friends or didn't let you talk to anybody. You know what I mean? And it's like now you're finally getting out of that situation and you're tasting freedom at last. But it's going to take discipline on your part. Like some of you guys really need to invest yourself in materializing and visualizing the reality that you want to bring about. But that is what I'm seeing here, Aquarius. If you'd like to book a personal reading, go ahead and click the link down below in the description box. It'll take you to my website and you can book there. But other than that, I'll see you later. Take care and have a beautiful rest of your month, guys. Bye-bye.